Uh, well, good morning. <laughs> it's 6.30 in the morning. Um, this week's going to be a, a big week for me because I have a colonoscopy surgery on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to turn a few lights on and get ready for the day. I also... Um, <clears throat> I ordered back a car, like, <clears throat> back in March, um, and there's been a few, bit of a wait on cars at the moment, like, months wait on cars, so I've been waiting for my car, March, April, May, June, July, August, roughly about, like, just under five months, um, which I don't mind, obviously, because I'm, I know I'm going to get it and whatever, but it's like almost like not real. Like, it's almost like I know it's not going to, like, I know, I feel like it's not actually going to be here. Like, it's crazy. Um, I've got a Havel in white. It's pearl white. And I can't wait to, like get it and show you guys and show myself really. <laughs> Time to get ready for work. Okay, now that I am showered and looking like this, <laughs> it's time to pack my bags and get ready to sleep at mum and dad's house because tomorrow morning at 5am I start my drink for my colonoscopy um, and yeah. Passion fruit or like mango, I think it's mango. Let me tell you. It's mango, but it's like tangy. Uh, so I drink this for within a half an hour, like then make it last a half hour. And then I'm gonna go back to bed. Bottoms up. I had to drink all my drink and then I had to vomit a little bit of it up because it was just so like foamy like um I don't know it was just like oh, it was just bad um and I've had to go to the toilet and I've been on the toilet for about 10 minutes and I'm about to go again and this is the first dose so I'm not sure what the second dose will hold. 
but we'll find out and I'll get him back to you. <laughs> I think, I feel like once I get this all out of my system this morning, I think I'll be fine. Honestly, I've been sleeping for like two hours. Fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I, when I did it, as I said, I wasn't like ready for the toilet. Constantly, but when there was nothing, it, it will make you go until you've got absolutely nothing there. Yeah, I feel like I'll be fine. You're going to be starving by one o'clock, though. I'm already hungry. I'm too scared to try this one. What's, do you remember the flavour of the second one? The second one um, is, uh, it smells strong as hell. I don't remember what it's, it smells crazy but I'm scared to Okay, see, look how, look how frothy this is. And it's like, can you imagine what it does to your stomach? It's not actually not too bad. This one's not actually too bad. It was just because it was at the end of it and it was just like a lot. Read it to this. Read it. It's the bottom Mom, just in <laughs> So this is what I've been drinking as I showed before. <clears throat> Wait, is it here? Yeah. <clears throat> Note this product is designed to give you a watery diarrhea so stay close to the toilet. A protective, a protective cream or ointment such as Vaseline or Lenin. Lenin, Lenin? Lenin. 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 may be applied to the anal area before the diarrhea commences. Well, um, I don't know why you would need to do that because that's diarrhea. It's not coming out of your like. Why? Because it will burn probably after a while. Oh, probably. Would. <laughs> I mean, I, I probably from wiping. Yeah. Although, have to admit. The wiping situation is kind of clean because <laughs> it's just watery. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been like sitting here eating ice chips because I'm not eating else. Had a bit of cordial, some water, and crushed up some ice. <coughs> My mum and sister are on their way to get some jelly for me. Hopefully, they can find, like, they think you can only eat orange and yellow jelly. <clears throat> so hopefully they find some because I am starving. But this is keeping me good for now. Fingers crossed. morning after my op and I'm feeling not too bad, I'm feeling good. Um, there's a little bit of discomfort um, with going to the toilet and things like that, just a little bit. Um, other than that, I'm feeling good. I haven't had a, I came home last night and literally died. Like I had some pizza and then I died. Um, probably wasn't the best move to have something like so like solid. Um, straight after that because I think that's what's making me have a bit of discomfort. That's noted at least. Um, and this morning I've had the coffee to see if I can just like flush it out a little bit more. Um, and some blueberries, a little bit of piece of toast as well, just to like see if I can just flush whatever I had last night down because I reckon that's what's made me have a bit of discomfort. Um, I reckon they would have discomfort anyway, but I think I've experimented with it. Now I know <laughs> with solid food after the operation for these things. So if you're going in after your operation, like I probably recommend not having like something such as pizza or you know something like that. Just having something easy on your tummy because God, I think that's what's like making me feel uncomfortable. It's like it's so uncomfortable. Um, I guess I never explained why I was getting a colonoscopy um there was just some unexplained like a line in my stool um that was happening for a long time and i just didn't like 
I've tried putting it off and just like not thinking about it and like, you know, um, not putting it in front of mind because I didn't want to like do anything about it because I didn't think it was a big, like, big deal or anything. Um, and then it kind of got worse <clears throat> over a little bit of time. I uh, was happening for like a while and it got like pretty bad. Um, and so I did see a doctor about it. Um, and then I booked it in. So my results were that I, they found a, um, a hemorrhoid at the top, like in further, um, and a polyp that they're taking biopsies of as well. So they found two things um, yesterday, which is good to know that there, it wasn't just like I didn't go for no reason. It was good to know that I didn't go for no reason. It was good also that I like I got them out obviously because things like that can possibly get worse and get bigger. Um, so that was good to know. So I didn't film obviously inside the place or anything like that only because well one there's no guests allowed so you go in by yourself um, because obviously COVID and restrictions and things like that are still in place um, and I just was like not comfortable like I just didn't want anyone like have to ask those questions can I film or like because it's just like not time and place really for it um, so I just didn't. So my experience there, my appointment was at one, and I waited about probably half an hour to be seen at first to even get like registered into the hospital, like to tell them like my name and stuff and everything. Um, which is fine because I understand that it's like it's that busy. I get it. Um, I waited about. The one probably didn't go in till about so I started I walked in at one and I wasn't admitted into surgery until maybe like 3 30 4 o'clock so there was a lot of waiting around um, you know shit happens um, I got my car and um, that was nice to see my car for once um, I love that I just I can't even and it was kind of nice how coming out of um, like out of surgery and coming in like my mum picking me up in my car although I don't remember much of it I think I was still out of it um, but I've been in it now and I haven't driven it obviously because I'm still under the anesthesia and things like that so if I crash I'm not covered I do not want to risk it I do not want to risk it at all so I'm waiting for like four o'clock five o'clock this afternoon to get home yeah the plan for today is to just rest up and then I will be getting well hopefully this afternoon I can get some new floor mats um, for the car I remember getting it matching our and Williams floor mats to match my steering wheel that I got for Christmas so that'd be nice um, maybe some seat covers as well because it's le like fake leather I don't want them to like get like you know ruined or fade or whatever and anything like that too so um, that's the goal for today um other than that, I will keep you updated.